What's going on guys, Guided by Jesus here bringing you another awesome Clash Royale video. As you guys can see, I did just get my first ever legendary chest, so I'm really excited about that and I have high hopes that I'll get a miner. I've been waiting for that card for the longest. I saved over 40,000 coins in order to get that card once it does show up in my shop. However, I haven't had the luck of having it show up in my shop, guys. So I do hope that I do get a miner from this chest. I want to ask you guys to stay tuned until the end of the video because we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting things as well as opening this legendary chest. So in this replay right here is the game where I got my legendary chest and immediately after this replay we're going to play a game and hopefully we're going to test out the theory of whether or not we do get an epic chest immediately after the legendary chest. So while we do play this replay here for you guys, I do want to talk to you guys about the legendary chest and the epic chest drop. It is actually not random guys, it is part of the chest cycle. So for those of you guys that don't know, the chest cycle consists of 240 chests which are made up of silver chests, golden chests, 4 giant chests and 4 magical chests. And now the epic and the legendary chests have been added into the chest cycle guys so for the players over 2000 trophies and i'm sorry for those of you that are under 2000 trophies but only players above 2000 trophies are able to get legendary and epic chests for those that are from the range of 2000 trophies to 3000 trophies they can get one legendary chest and one epic chest out of every two chest cycle that they complete. So that means that you might complete a chest cycle and get it, or you might complete it and not get it, but then you should get it on the very next cycle you do complete, or you might complete the chest cycle and not get it. I mean, I'm sorry, or you might get it on the very first chest cycle that you do complete, but then that means that you won't get it on the next chest cycle. So in order to get it in every chest cycle, you need to be in 3000 trophies or higher. And so that means that if you are at 3000 trophies or higher, you can get a legendary and an epic chest every single cycle that you complete, meaning every 240 chests or so you should have a legendary and an epic chest, guys. And there is a catch, like for those of you guys that are around 2,900, 3,100 trophies, if you guys are frequently going into Legendary Arena and then dropping out of Legendary Arena, that actually does mess up the chest cycle for you guys. So you guys will not get a Legendary and an Epic chest every single cycle if you guys are going into Legendary Arena and then out of Legendary Arena. That might just make it so that you guys only get the legendary and epic chest every two cycle as if you guys were the, like, just like the players that are under 3000 trophies all the time. So yeah, I really, really hope that you guys do make it over 3000 trophies. And I want to encourage you guys, if you are not above 3000 trophies yet, to go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm constantly sharing decks and helping you guys with tips and tutorials of how to play well with low level cards. I am a free to play player so I never uh, gem, I don't have high level cards for my level and just like as you guys were able to see from my last few episodes I did feature some free to play decks in which I win 12 wins and challenges with in which I managed to be over 3500 trophies with so I do want to encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel and just follow it, watch the videos because that should really help you guys into, you know, getting over Arena 9 with not so very high level cards. So here I just opened a first place tournament chest and we're now going to go ahead and open the free chest as well as the gold chest and then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next match so that we can test out the theory of whether or not what I'm saying is true that you do get an epic chest immediately after the legendary chest. So let's go ahead and jump into the second match then and we're, here we go we're gonna first 
Lewis here. We're going to go against Lewis from Clan Royal label. Um, let's see what he's going to start off with. I do not like my starting hand all that well. I like to start off with Goblin Barrel. And so he places the Bomber. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down my Inferno Tower. Use the Lightning to take down the Bomber and the Musketeer. Unfortunately, I didn't miss the Musketeer there. So now I don't have anything to defend against this Minion Horde. Minion horde. So what I do is I use the Skeleton Army just to distract them and allow my towers there to take them down so that was pretty effective right there let's go ahead and see my opponent plays the valkyrie so i'll just drop the mega minion here because the valkyrie does not target air troops and i'm lucky that he dropped the uh, mini pekka which also doesn't drop doesn't um, target uh air troops so my mega minion survives that without a scratch and so does my princess that was a two elixir advantage in both of my troops Still survived so that was very very good i'll drop my inferno tower here and skeleton army just to keep the barbarians from um aiming at the inferno tower and that way i will have the inferno tower alive to defend against my opponent's next push so like i said the inferno tower being that it still has hp here it should be able to effectively counter that bomber without me having to drop anything else so let's see, since my opponent did play on the right, I'll go ahead and play my Goblin Barrel, forcing him to split his push here and have to um, use Elixir on both sides, meaning that the side that he does push on is not going to be as strong as it could have been if he had used all of his Elixir on the same side. So Inferno Tower takes down the Musketeer and then helps take down the Valkyrie. So once again, we did uh defend against his push very effectively i did notice that he does not have anything to counter my inferno tower so i am going to use the inferno tower every chance i i get to so i'll use the princess here to do damage to all of the barbarians he does use the arrows so now i know he has no arrows or and i haven't seen him zap at all the entire game so I know I can constantly play my Skeleton Army, my Goblin Barrel, um, without um, any worries here. So that Valkyrie should die quickly, but I don't want to get a single shot off, so I'll just place down my Inferno Tower. Prince is here to do damage to all of his troops at once there, and the Log there to do damage to the troops as well as damage his tower. And now since he only has arrows and he already used it, I'll use all of these troops here, which he was not able to defend um, very well. Uh, and he was forced to use the minion horde there, which is a lot of elixir. And I was able to take it down with ease with my princess there, guys. So now he has to worry about my princess on the right, as well as defend on the left. Lightning here for great value, taking down several elixir with only six elixir cost of the lightning, as well as damaging the tower. So all I really need right now is another lightning to take down his tower. We're already in overtime here. All I need to do is cycle to the lightning. And here we go, guys. That's the win. Um, his um, cards, his troops were much higher level than mine. But as you guys can see, the way I played and the deck that I used just allowed me to have great control. And guys, we did get the epic chest immediately after the legendary chest. So it is true what I just told you guys, the whole thing about legendary and epic uh, chess being part of the cycle. If you guys haven't gotten it yet, you guys should get it really soon, um, especially if you guys are in legendary arena. So I did just fast forward things right there because the legendary chest does take a whole day to open guys. So I'll go ahead and open these three chests first. And wish me luck, guys. Hopefully, I do get a miner here from this legendary chest. Let's see. First, we'll start unlocking the epic chest. And okay, now it's time. Let's go ahead and open this legendary chest. What's it gonna be? Come on, please give me miner or something I don't have. Pin lava hound. Okay, so I do have a lava hound. Not the best here. I wanted to get either one that I didn't have yet. So I have more um, choices whenever playing challenges and tournaments. 
Um, I would I wanted to have more flexibility into making different decks, but okay, I guess having a level two Lava Hound is gonna help me in ladder play. I do enjoy playing with the Lava Hound a lot, so that means that I'll get to level it to level two. So I guess I'll do that and and bring you guys some Lava Hound decks in the future as well. So let's go ahead and fast forward things here in order to open this epic chest. And first, we'll get rid of these three chests here. I'm hoping to get some goblin barrels, lightning, or maybe golem, which is very overpowered right now in the current meta. So hopefully we get one of those three cards. Let's see what we do get here from this epic chest. Let's see, let's see. Two giant skeletons. Not a good start here. I don't use that at all. Baby dragons. I used to use them a lot. Not, a, not anymore. And guards. So I do get to level up guards to level 4, however, none of the current decks I'm using use uh, guards, so let's see what I'm going to do about that. So once again, guys, this is the deck I've been using. As you guys can see, none of the cards are above tournament level cap, and I'm currently at 3700 trophies, guys. That's pretty impressive, and that's why I'm telling you guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, because I'll help you guys out. I'll help you guys get to a high trophy count regardless of the level of cards you guys have. So feel free to drop some questions in the comments section. Let me know what you guys got from your legendary and epic chest or if you haven't gotten it yet, good luck. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it guys and make sure to subscribe for more Clash Royale content.